free my nigga Bill. Mm -mm. <laughs> what's up, what's up, what's up, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl, Everything Alex. And I am back at it again with another YouTube video, my nigga. Okay, so today we about to stir up on some controversy. And we about to ruffle some feathers. And we about to shake the table on you those, okay? Because like I said, some of y'all know, but I made this channel to voice my opinion, and that's what I'm about to do. And nine times out of ten, my opinion does not agree with the multitude, but you know, that's what opinions are for. They're not meant to be agreed upon, but they're meant to be expressed. Okay? Bam. Bling blah. Alright? So right now, I just call work. You know, we simping on some wine real quick, real quick, okay? Because I'm grown, I can do what I want. But I just got work, so. Um, I'm not really much of an alcohol person, but sometimes you just want to feel a little bubbly. You want to feel a little schmizzed, you know? No, nah, but on some g up type stuff, I don't know. It, it just... Wine just make me feel grown, like I'm in my back and I can relax, all right? So that's what I'm drinking. And I don't know the exact name of what I'm drinking, but I want to tell you, I'm not like, like, I'm not like no hard liquor type of person. So I can't drink none of the, like, the burgundies and none of that. It got to be something soft. I like, I like dessert wines. That's what I like. That's what the proper terminology for it is called, okay? Dessert wines. That's what I'm drinking all the day. And, mm. I don't think this mix go together. This um French onion dip with Lay's and I don't think this dessert wine like one of the same parent but nonetheless. Before I do get into this video, please make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe, you know, all of that. And while you're at it, make sure you do keep supporting the culture. Start supporting the culture, you know, all 2018 gang, gang, gang in this. Alright. Um so yeah, y'all probably wondering what this video is going to be about. And I just wanted to address this whole Bill Cosby thing. That's what I want to talk about. And I know some of y'all about to be mad, boy. Some of y'all, some of y'all older, older um people about to be mad. I don't really care who's gonna be mad because at the end of the day is my opinion, like I said, and I'm free to express my opinion. So, you know. Alright. So Without further ado, just keep watching and view. I won't hear what I gotta say. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into this video. This is like the best combo ever, I swear. My mama put me on. Right. As most of us know, Bill Bill Cosby went to jail now. Honey been sentenced to like ten years. I don't really know. Like I do want to start by saying I really don't know the specifics. I just know like the major points. I just know the nigga went to jail for sexual assault. And I do know that it was like multiple charges and that some of the charges were dropped or whatever because they found out that some of them were false. All right. So my whole thing with this, I am not promoting sexual assault whatsoever. I am not promoting that. Hell no to the sexual assault. Nobody, no man, nor female should be sexually assaulted. You know? My whole thing is, what my argument is, is that I don't feel like, hmm, I don't feel like someone should be persecuted, per se, or, like, yeah, persecuted for something that happened, like, you know, 10, 20, however many so years ago. I feel like there should be a cap on how many years you can let something bypass. And I know some, most of y'all gonna be like, oh, well, so you didn't have the courage. My nigga, how long it take to build up courage? I mean, I don't know. But I'm just saying, if you wanna say something, baby, say something. Don't wait to a whole lifetime done passed by allowing whoever sexually assaulted you to continue to sexually assault other other people like 
you you waste a person's valuable time letting like like okay say for instance say the first person he sexual sexually assaulted say they would have spoke up to begin with we wouldn't have as many cases as we have right now if that's the case like i said do not try to deviate from the fact that i am i am not I am not praising sexual assault. I am not congratulating that. I am not saying, oh, well, Bill Cosby can sexually assault whoever he want, you know? Grab her by the pussy. Like, I'm not saying that whatsoever. I am saying there should be a cap on whatever crime. You can't bring up, you, you can't be, just bring up people past. You can't do that. Like, that, I feel like that, that goes in relevance in, Relevance with like OJ Simpson, like okay, even though they found if that's the nigga, because once again, I, I don't know half the stuff I be talking about, but I know what I be talking about. The same way, at the time, you know, they did find him guilty, but then they found evidence, you know, that the nigga did do it, and he came out, came out of his mouth at the point to say he did. But you know how you can't, um, like you you can't go to trial about the same thing. Child, my brain jumble. But y'all know, y'all know that's like a whole ass law. You you can't like go to trial over the same thing twice. Like y'all already said his verdict was he not guilty. So even though you found him guilty that he did it, like even though he came out and said, oh yeah, it was me, nigga, I did it. Like you know, y'all can't make the nigga go to jail. So if you can't even like make someone go to jail for some for a crime that they actually committed because oh well you already said he didn't do it. I feel like there should be a, 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 a amount of time there should be a cap on oh well such and such years passed you know you y'all y'all sat there and if it's true y'all sat there and allowed him to sexual sexually assault many women many come on every, so you mean to tell me everybody ain't have courage it wasn't just one person in this whole time span that didn't have enough courage like i feel like, i feel like that's that's trash that's, that's a bogus excuse so now you got this old man rotting away in the cell once again let me reiterate i am not saying it is okay that he sexually assaulted whoever he sexually assaulted but what i am saying is that there should be a cap on this stuff this nigga shouldn't be going to jail for something that happened umpteen years ago. There's somebody great granddaddy in jail. You want to be in jail? Why you a, you a great granddaddy, great grandmama? You think it's okay for you to go to jail? No telling what type of sickness, disability, what type of illness you got. And you think you want to be in jail with all that? Which all times you probably can't even remember you even did it. So tell me, how can you and how can you incarcerate or like or like put someone in jail who say say the nigga got all times, say the nigga got me, Lord knows what he got, but he can't even remember half the stuff that happened yesterday, thirty days ago let alone 30 years like that doesn't add up i just i don't i don't think that's right i don't think that's right at all. i don't care what you say i don't care what somebody did and i don't care if y'all want to try to say something uh, well what if it was your sister what if it was your mom bitch my mama should have spoke up you know what they say they say you see something say something okay we, we can't that, that that can't be a pass oh because no one had the courage because now your your lack of courage allowed that to happen to other females you know it, sometimes you got to use your voice to say something don't 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 try to wait to now now you want to say something about this old man because baby if it, if that was my my mama my sister i'm gonna tell the same thing honey why didn't you spit why didn't you been speak honey uh -huh. baby girl you know and I know people are going to, like, people are really going to come for me, but it doesn't matter to me. Okay. girl. The same way y'all think it's okay for this old ass nigga to go to jail. Like, if that shit happened, like, five years ago. Okay, cool. This shit happened 30 years ago, my nigga. Y'all niggas out here holding grudges for 30 years? <laughs> I sound stupid, but... 
and I let the past be past, that bygones be bygones. Because if you really wanted justice, honey, you would have been said something. It do not take 30 years to speak up, you know? And once again, before I do end this video, I, like I said, I am not saying it's okay for what he did. I am not saying that. I am saying that there there needs to be a cap. There needs to be a top frame. Like, there has to be a top frame. No. Like, you know? Because at the end of the day, how can you even really prove that this is true other than he say, she say? He say, she say. They say, we all say. Like, how can, how can you even prove? you? There's no evidence. The evidence was gone 30 years ago. But we got Donald Trump walking around here being able to, you know, grab people by the pussy, and it's okay. We know he do that. So. Maybe we hope. How about we wait 30 years and then we prosecute that nigga? How about that? Anyways, thank you so guys so much for watching. Make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. You know all of that, all of that. And look, this is a judgment-free zone. Like I said, the same way I'm entitled to my own opinion, baby, I'm entitled to y'all's opinion. I ain't gonna get mad, cause I don't care. It's what you think. It ain't facts, you know. What I say, it ain't no fact. It ain't no law. So whatever. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what y'all think about this video. Keep supporting the coach all 2018, and y'all have a wonderful. Rest of y'all day, little niggas, hey.